Darksville Town was a calm and warm place. But sometimes towns change, and this was the case. One night occurred the strangest thing so far. On Darksville landed a fallen star. The townspeople saw this, and their surprise was big. Inside the fallen star was a demon baby named Sid. He was special, not like the average kid, with a creepy look and always chaos amid. Each year that passed, he showed without rest that his demon nature was on manifest. Mischievous, chaotic, always causing pain, the problems of others for him were a game. He grew with time, and something I can say is that when evil starts, only evil will stay. Here is when Sid's adventure starts to extend. But just keep in mind, he doesn't have a happy end. Another wonderful night to be a demon, isn't it, Mr. Buttons? Oh, I agree. Now let's see what's on the agenda of evil tonight. Let's see... Uh, here it is, Wednesday the 7th. Sneak up on the Hamanson's daughter and cut her braid. Check. Already did that last week. Doubt it's grown back. Create an army of giant mutant chickens to terrorize the farm. Eh, that one didn't quite work out last time. The villagers managed to kill all the chickens and use the excess meat to feed the kids at the orphanage. Hungry little bastards. So let's just skip that until I perfect a non-edible cyborg chicken or something. Make Miss Barbara's pies go sour. Mmm, better not. I'm starting to think that old bat's developed a taste for sour pies. I swear she's playing me. Feed laxative laced bird seed to the local pigeons so they wreak havoc on town. Alright, yeah, that one sounds pretty great. Surrender, Sid! Your nights of evilness are over! What's that? Sounds like... Dan Teapot yelling at my door again. This time it is over! For realties! There's no escape from this one! None of your tricks will save you! No more Sid the Demon terrorizing the town! Yep, that's Dan. I'd better get rid of him quickly. Who knows what annoyances that nagging insect is cooking up? It's my hook-shaped cane. I generally use it to ruin the school musicals by yanking kids off the stage with it. A gentleman has no class if he doesn't have his cane. In these drawers, I used to store all sorts of useful gadgets and inventions. I used to store all sorts of useful gadgets and inventions in here. Nonetheless, the only thing I found inside that is not broken or useless is this multi-bit screwdriver. 
with no bits at all. He's inside his tank. It's my lovely fish, Domingo. He knows how to do some cool tricks, like act like a fish or splash, but usually it's super ineffective. It's full of holes and stinks. I wonder why I haven't burnt the thing already. No one knows when you're going to need to coat with this crazy weather. Even if... And full of holes. And stinks. It's a mountain. So scenic. Dan Teapot is holding the door from the other side. I should talk to him. Don't try anything funny, demon. Today your evil existence ends. You are not going out. I will trap you inside your castle. Did you notice that you're blocking the entrance to my castle? I know. It's a part of my brilliant plan to end your demonic deeds. Isn't it a little past your bedtime, Danny boy? First of all, it's never too late for me. I am the relentless protector of Darkestville. <laughs> it's 11 p.m. 11 p.m. already? On a Wednesday? Oh, gosh. Well, maybe it's a little late, but I'm on a mission, so I will stay. No matter what. How many times have we been through this? 146 times. 147 if we count the time you dressed as a girl in order to seduce a giant monkey to turn it against me. Lady Danina and I are not the same person. She is a long lost, charming, absolutely female cousin. You don't have any uncles or aunts. Exactly. That's why she was lost in the first place. Why don't you go away? I have diabolical schemes to follow. Heh, <laughs> forget it. Your nights of evil deeds are over. You're not leaving this place. Nuh uh. Leave this place before I hurt you in vague but unpleasant ways. You can't hurt me. You're locked inside your castle. You do realize that you're standing on a big trap door with an X on it. Huh. Do you take me for a fool? I already sabotaged the trap door mechanism and locked the basement door. And you can't repair it. Which key did you use to lock the basement door? This one. Thanks. Hey, that was my key. Ah, I don't care. You can't fix the mechs I made down there anyway. This trap door is still useless. Let's see about that. Do you have the missing part of the trap door mechanism? I will not fall for that again. Today is your end. You are not leaving this place. What is your plan? Starve me to death? Because I have plenty of food here. I'm not telling you. Do you have the missing part of the trapdoor mechanism? I will not fall. What is your. I'm not. Ah, forget it. You will never leave this castle again. There, I archive all my taxes and expenses. I'm evil, but I'm organized. There are only expenses and taxes inside those drawers. I don't want to mess with them. I have an extremely complicated date-based organizational system, you see. the key for my bathroom. How did this end up here? I 
I'm happy to have the key to my bathroom. It would be terrible to be locked at home without the bathroom available. I must have left this here after working on the inner circuits of the cybernetic chicken. I should be more careful where I leave my tools. It's broken. The tires are flat and everything else is rusty. It's super rusty and dry. I don't think in this state I could use it for anything besides spreading tetanus. Hey, that actually sounds pretty great. To the inventory you go. I should put a screwdriver bit on it to be able to use it. Now I have a fully functional screwdriver. Come to me, my instrument of eternal terror. It's broken. I removed the cuckoo to make a homing missile a long time ago. Now it's just full of cogs and gears. Don't worry, it was already broken. A bunch of big cogs. I hope I didn't just void the warranty on this thing. Non-abrasive soap for my delicate skin. Now I can wash my hands properly. Now it's properly lubed. Heh. <laughs> Lube. I can't talk to that. Dan Teapot has vandalized the door mechanism. The chain and some cogs are missing. Presto. Perfect. It activates the trap door that is outside my castle. It's very useful when Girl Scouts are selling cookies. What? Don't give me that look. I just want some cookies and they always run away when I answer the door. Hey Dan, let me out. Ha! You'll never be able to- ah! Hi Dan. Would you care to explain this whole trapping me in my castle business now? Ha ha! I think you've defeated me, but I've won. Fascinating. I find your claims tenuous at best coming from inside of a jail cell. I have delayed you enough here. They are already in town. There's no escape now. Who are they, and why would I want to escape from them? Have you been sneaking mushrooms out of my gardens again? I told you those are for my alchemical experiments. You don't get it, do you? Nope. No idea what you're talking about. I've hired the Romero brothers. The most infamous demon hunters alive are coming for you. They've long been here by now. There is truly no escape for you. 
They'll track and hunt you down. They are the best of the best. I've kept you from getting a head start on Flea. Like I said, I win. You're done. Oh, come on, you moron. Don't you realize that it's the villain who's supposed to give their whole plan away with overly detailed monologues? You've gone and messed up our whole dynamic. You don't get it? The Romero brothers are the best, and they will never... Silence truly is golden. Now then, let's analyze this little situation I've found myself in. A team of demon hunters are, well, hunting me. It's kind of flattering that the so-called best of the best are after me, oh my. Well, if these Romero brothers want a war, then I'm going on the offensive. I'll need to go downtown to check them out. And give them a warm welcome to Darkestville. <laughs> but, uh, I should probably quit wasting time with maniacal laughter and get going. I've got a lot of work to do after all. So I'll make a neutron bomb and hide it inside a cheesecake. No, 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 no. That's really impractical. I don't have enough cheese. Good evening, little fellow. Is that Darkestville Castle? What? What kind of question is that? You're in Darkestville and that's the only castle. Now, please mind your own business. I'm really busy right now. Okay, team. You hear the man. The demon should be trapped inside. Let's do our job. To the hunt! What was I saying? Ah, yes. So let's discard the neutron bomb cheesecake. <laughs> What about a neutron bomb inside an apple pie? What am I thinking? With that giant rat inside the kitchen, I can't bake anything. Okay, all the plans involving cooking are null. Man, that's like half my repertoire. The job is done, sir. That demon is now inside our prison chest. It won't be bothering you again. We received your payment in the last letter, so I think that's all. Goodbye, and thank you for hiring the Romero Brothers. Wait, what? The Romero Brothers? They didn't recognize me! <laughs> ah, once again, my wit and... Wait a minute. My castle! What were they doing there? Domingo! They took him away! My lovely fish, Domingo! No one messes with you! Now this is personal! He is still stunned. What a weakling. It was just a small anvil. Hey, I found Waldo. And he is dead. This is the trash of my castle. I realize now that I produce too much waste for a single demon. I don't remember throwing this at the dumpster. An iron rod. And an almost eaten biology book. Mr. Buttons will have to give me a good explanation about this.
It's a blind guy outside a bar with a half-made Cuban mojito. Sounds like the beginning of a bad joke. Hi! Who goes there? Let me introduce myself. I'm Sid, a fine citizen of Darkestville. Nice to meet you, sir. I'm Martin Hawkeye from West Spring. So, you're a local, right? Yes. Well, then let me congratulate you. Darkestville is a lovely place. Really? Yeah. The air's so fresh and the climate is perfect. I guess you're right. That reminds me. I have to keep working on that weather machine. I notice you haven't touched your drink. Yeah, this mojito is kind of lame. The mint they used is really old. It's almost tasteless. If you're not going to drink it, may I have it? Nah, I'm gonna drink it, eventually. Besides, even if the drink isn't good, at least I look cool with a drink in my hand, right? No, but then again, you are too blind to notice it. <laughs> you got me there. May I have your drink? No. I have other matters to attend to. See you soon. Mm, nothing there looks useful. It is the very definition of garbage. I realize now that I spend more time than I would like just staring at garbage. I know the expression, one man's trash is another man's treasure but this time, it is definitely just trash. Hello, so you are one of the Romero brothers. Yes, I'm Walrus, the muscle of the Romero brothers. And your name is Dan Teapot, right? Oh, it was a pleasure to work for you, sir. You don't find many customers that pay full in advance by mail these days. How did you recognize me? Because I'm totally Dan Teapot. It was easy to figure it out. In your letter, you wrote that you'd be waiting for us outside the castle to help secure the target. Between you and me, I think that putting the demon inside a fish tank was kind of too much. It made everything too easy for us. Where is that demon you recently captured? We put all the demons we catch inside our demon chest. There they are imprisoned forever in some kind of an alternate dimension or something. I don't get much of that technical stuff. Bart, don't worry. He cannot escape. What if he has some kind of super genius and handsome friend outside trying to help him out? Oh, don't worry. Our sister Foxy already thought about that. The chest requires three keys to open, and each of us only has one key. So it's impossible to open the demon chest without our authorization. Unless... Unless... Unless, of course, someone stole each of our keys. But, then again, we are the best demon hunters. No one would ever dare to try that. Except... Except... Except some kind of idiotic moron with absolutely zero conscience about the consequences of his actions. But, then again, we shouldn't worry about that. If there is such an idiot, we will crush him. Yeah. We, uh, don't have to worry about that. I would love to see that mysterious key you have. Sorry, but I will only take it out if the rest of the group has to open the chest. So, it must be great to be a demon hunter. Oh, yes. You meet a lot of people, do exercise, fight evil. Travel the world and taste new drinks. It's great! Ha <laughs> ha! Where's the rest of the team? I'm not sure. 
I think Foxy is talking with the mayor. And the mongoose must be training somewhere. That lad never rests. Goodbye. I have other matters to attend to. It was a pleasure to talk with you, sir. I think the tavern keeper will not mind if I take some of them. That's Ruffo, the guard dog. He seems to be sleeping, but as soon as any stranger walks past his house, he attacks. Sadly, I fall in the stranger category. Presto! It fits perfectly! Face dog. Are you barking? Sorry, I can't hear you. Ah, victory is so sweet. Now that I think about it, why did I want to come here in the first place? One man's trash is another man's treasure doesn't apply this time. One man's trash is an I'll take the giant mutant chicken leg. It'll be handy if I need to scratch my back. Two of the cutest horses I have ever seen. It's Pedro, the owner of the hot dog wagon. A man who travels the world. A man without a home. A man without fear. A man without any semblance of personal hygiene. Hi. Hello, Sid. How's the evil doing going? Ah, uh, tonight is kind of a tough night. Dan Teapot called some demon hunters. Demon hunters? I don't like them. They never buy anything. Good luck fighting them. Pedro, how is business going? Unbelievable. Is that bad or good? Bad. I ran out of my special marinara sauce. I have to replace it with the new clam ink sauce, but no one likes it. It looks like regular ink. Because that's what it is. What about your other sauces? They're just props to give the impression of variety. Neat trick, isn't it? I know, I know, I'm a genius. You don't have to say it. I am a marketing devil. Can you give me some of that ink sauce? I need it for my hot dogs, you'll see. A hot dog without any sauce isn't the same, but let's do something. I will give you all of it if you help me do some marinara sauce. What do you need to make marinara sauce? I need something with a special touch of sophistication. Like what exactly? I don't know. Something that stinks the right way. Goodbye. See you later. And remember, we are open all night. Hey, that's exactly what I was looking for to make my marinara sauce. It smells perfectly. But please keep the secret. I don't want people to start copying my secret sauce. May I have your clam ink sauce now? Of course. I don't need it anymore. Awesome. She's Mrs. Johnson, the mayor's secretary. She may look inoffensive, but she swings her umbrella really hard for a woman of her age. Hey, I can hear you. What are you saying about my age? Nothing! Ah! 
<laughs> Once again, I've struck terror into the heart of the people of Darkestville. You want to kill me from a heart attack? Give me that thing, and don't you ever dare do that again. Who would have believed that Darkestville Castle had a political agenda? Another totally biased depiction of our mayor. It's a pretty inaccurate portrait of the mayor of Darkestville. I already checked that. There's no strong box behind that painting and no, I don't want to steal this horrible painting. Definitely not the kind of painting that I would add to my collection. The cabinet was depleted for redecoration. Oh, wait a minute. They forgot this bottle of 25-year-old whiskey. Interesting. It looks like some kind of insomniac pigeon. It's our local hobo Jeffrey Badsock. He's pretty useful. I've tried all kinds of potions on him ever since I was a little demon. Wow, this is one of the finest 25-year-old whiskeys ever made. My glue sovereign tasted like poison in comparison to this. Thanks. Take it, birdie birdie. Ah, uh, now I recall, I put an explosive charge on this bench. Well, those third-degree burns will teach that pigeon not to accept gifts from strangers. Eh, why not? Two million more of those and I can make myself a new pillow. Great, now I have a quill and ink. It was a lot of creative work. But now the mayor has a much better agenda. Not only does he have an appointment with me, but by next Saturday, we will declare war with three different countries. I used all the ink, so I'll discard the quill. I don't think I'm going to need it anymore anyway. Presto! That glue solvent works really quickly. I thought I had my homemade medicine inside. Now that I think about it, that's probably what glued the cabinet door on in the first place. Things made with evil goo are so hard to manage. All the anecdotes that contain, and then I went for the sleeping pills, are good ones. It's already open. Extra soft, silk textured, mint scented toilet paper. What is it? 
It's our special Darkestville Mint. Just smell the minty scent. Cool. That'll surely enhance my mojito. Let me try it. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, now it's much better. Mm. That was a pretty good taste. And the texture was good, too. It was extra soft. Premium quality. Only the best of the best. Thanks. May I return the glass to the tavern for you? Yeah, sure. Why not? Thank you again. Presto. I'd prefer to keep my hands clean. I'd prefer to keep my hands clean. It's full of oil. See, I was expecting this shipment of penguins that I planned on oiling up and releasing back into the wild, but they never showed up. A great idea. Wanna give this a try? What is it? It's our special local beer. Let me try it! Mm. <clears throat> ah, this beer is too soft. It tastes almost like water. I think... See what we can find in his pockets. Ah, here it is. One of the keys of the demon chest. One step closer to freeing Domingo. one of the Benson triplets. You will be remembered for the astonishing similarities with your brothers. Not only on looks, but also on the lack of criteria at handling explosives. Here lies one of the Benson triplets. You will be... I'm not in the mood to talk with the dead. You only want to talk about eating brains. Ha! Ha! <laughs> I only have to wait until someone walks over it. Some footprints with this chicken leg. Just hang in there. <laughs> 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 
This could take some time. Presto! The chicken leg is all muddy now. I'd better discard it. It looks like he's training. Hello? Who goes there? Oh, it is you. Dan Teapot, right? Yeah, yeah, you are totally right. I'm him. I mean, it's me, Dan. And you are? I'm Mongoose Romero, the lightning of the Romero brothers. How did you recognize me? Because I'm totally Dan Teapot. Well, you told us you'd be wearing a distinctive hat. Ah, uh, yes, of course, my hat. In my opinion, it would have been easier to recognize you if we knew that you're constantly wearing a weird smiley mask. By the way, why are you wearing that mask? Oh yeah, a mask. That's because I'm a really shy guy. I can't talk with strangers if I'm not wearing my mask. I have mental issues. Mental problems, of course. That explains the payment in advance. What are you doing in the middle of the night at the cemetery? Me. Training, of course. We must always be ready for battle. You never know when you're going to find a ghost, a demon, or worse. It could be the Big Pie Raptor. The Big Pie Raptor? Where? Oh, so you've never heard of him. The Big Pie Raptor is a maniacal purple Velociraptor that throws apple pies at unsuspecting people. It doesn't sound that threatening. <laughs> you say that now, my lad, but if one night you're all alone in a dark alley, and you perceive a shadowy reptilian figure running, and the foul stench of apple pie infects the air, you'd better not come crying to me. But... I understand you. I was once like you. A reckless young man. I also didn't believe in the Big Pie Raptor. Until that sad night. I remember it as if it were yesterday. I was going to a dance party with my brand new white suit. When I saw him, it was already too late. I already had three apple pies all over me. I tried all kinds of stain removers, but nothing worked. But one day, one day I will have my revenge. Sweet, sweet revenge. Whatever you say, bub. Just calm down. Hurry! I just saw the big pie raptor. Look at his footprints. Sorry, pal, but I will not fall for... Oh my goodness, it is true. They are pointing directly to the crypt. At last, I have you cornered, you apple-scented scum. of deception. <laughs> I saw it first. I found a key inside this wallet. I will leave this here. Hey, you found it. Thank you, dear. I was looking for this agenda all this time. Good evening, Mrs. Johnson. Good evening, Sid. I have an appointment with the mayor right now. Oh, really? Let me check that. Oh, it's true. 
and according to this is indeed right now well I will inform the mayor about it give me a minute my dear mr. mayor yes I have someone here waiting to talk with you yes he has an appointment for right now it's marked as urgent okay I will tell him Hello, I would... Get out! I, I'm expecting someone important, but I... Get out! I'll talk with you later. I'm not sure if she has a real tail or if it's some kind of gimmick. She looks nice, though. Not sure if Hello? Hi, Dan, right? Dan Teapot? Apparently. And you are? I'm Foxy. Foxy Romero. I replied to your letters about hiring us. Ah, oh, yes, yes, of course. How did you reach the obvious conclusion that I'm Dan Teapot? Well, you told me in your letters that you had a big charming smile. Oh. Of course. Also, you told me you were a tall and skinny guy. Charming smile, tall and skinny? Seems that Dan's having serious perception problems about himself. What? Nothing, nothing. Just talking to myself. <laughs> I, uh... <laughs> what? Mm, nothing. <laughs> I have other matters to attend to. Talk to you later. Goodbye, Dan. No thanks. It looks like Walrus's lucky charm. He never goes out without it. Where did you find this? Um, outside the tavern? Maybe you should go out and investigate about it. Don't worry about your stuff. I'll watch over it. I cannot leave the chest. I will wait for Mongoose to come here before going to investigate. I hope everything is okay. Where did you find this? This is Mongoose's wallet. Oh, that. Well, I found it in the cemetery. I hope nothing happened to your friend. If I were you, I would go and investigate it. Don't worry about your stuff. I'll watch over it. You are right. Something fishy is going on. I better go investigate it. Dan, this is very important. I need you to watch over my stuff. And please don't let anyone manipulate the demon chest while I'm out. Do you understand me? This is very important. Yep, absolutely. You should not worry at all. You are doing the right thing. Goodbye. See you soon. Take your time. I'm gonna watch over your stuff. Oh, I can be so charming at times. Now I better act quickly before she returns. Let's see what we've got here. Papers, 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 and here it is. The last key I needed to open the chest. Don't worry, Domingo. I'm here. You're almost out. Just give me a minute to... Domingo! Here you are, buddy. I missed you. Don't worry. I'm here and everything is gonna be alright from now on. Um, who are they? Oh, we are the demons of the fifth hell. I'm King Vigo, young one. Now, can you tell me where we are? Sure. Let me introduce myself. I'm Sid, the demon of Darkestville. And you are now in Darkestville. Darkestville, eh? Alright, boys. Now that we're free again, let's go have some fun. 
We're going to take Darkestville for ourselves and show those pesky humans who's in charge. Hey, but I've released you. You should be following my orders. <laughs> oh, ah, nice joke, kiddo. Thanks for releasing us. I like your attitude, but I'm King Vigo. I don't follow orders. Now, let's move forward. This town isn't going to pillage itself. But... Hmm. Who would have thought that demons would be a bunch of ungrateful scoundrels? Well, the important thing is that you're alright, Domingo. Now let's go home so I can build you a new fish tank. Come on, Domingo. Follow me. Here, boy. Yeah, you're a good boy. You're pretty smart for a fish. Don't worry. I will make a brand new fish tank for you. You will love it. I'll even build a machine gun on top of it so no one can ever bother you again. Come on, buddy. Just a little bit more. You're pretty fast for a giant fish out of water. That's weird. I don't recall leaving the castle door closed. Who goes there? Oh, it's you. Get off my lawn. What? What? Your lawn? What are you doing inside my castle? Get out of here. So this was your castle? What? It is my castle. Now open up that door. Nope. Open that door or I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow the castle in. I don't think so. You don't even have a real mouth. Hey, that was offensive. Thank you. I'll sue you. Do as you wish. I have hordes of undead lawyers under my control. I hope no one just opens the castle door. Well, then you will hate it when I... Hey, wait a minute. Nice try. I almost fell for it. Could you kindly open that door? Nope. Open, 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 open. No, 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 no. Open, 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 open. Look, one of us has to be the mature one. And it isn't going to be me. Open, 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 and open. Oh, in the name of everything that is evil. What annoyance. There must be some way of... Yeah, this should be the lever. Isn't in my own trap. The irony. At least Dan Teapot isn't here anymore. I wonder if he escaped. Or if he ended up like Waldo. There's nothing to unscrew there. Open sesame. I have no idea what I'm doing. And now it's broken. I don't want to be struck on the head by a falling anvil. But I think that if I crouch the right way, it will not hit me. It seems like the anvil got stuck somewhere. Awesome! Now I got free cable. That's a good idea. I should use this to climb out of that hole I fell through. Great. How convenient that it worked on the first try. Now I only have to climb out.
These guys messed with the wrong demon. I will return them to the hell they came from, and I will recover my castle back. And where the hell is Domingo again? Eh, he looks friendly. Kind of stupid, but friendly. Hi, I'm Sid, Demon of Darkestville. Nice to meet you, man. I'm Jeff, and these are my brothers, Steve and Jesse. Hello. Hi. You look like a cool guy. I was wondering, maybe you know where we can get some good stuff. That would be awesome. Yeah, good stuff. What is that good stuff you're talking about? You know what we're looking for, bro. The good stuff. La Cosa Buena. Dobrast Bar. Good Spool. You know what I mean. The good stuff. What? Sorry, I don't really know what slang you use in this side of town for it. We're looking for diseases. Yeah, diseases. Yeah, dude, the good stuff. Salmonella, diphtheria, hepatitis, meningitis. We're for any diseases we can find in this town. Well, not any diseases. We're trying to avoid tetanus. You know, the hangover from is terrible. We like to party hard, but we're not exactly teenagers anymore. I have to leave now. Bye. See ya. Later. And that's why you should eat your vegetables. If you let them be, the vegetables will eat you. Hello. Hello, young one. Did you eat your vegetables today? Uh, uh, no. Thank God. I was afraid you were one of them. What are you talking about? I don't mean to frighten you, but there are a lot of people eating vegetables in this town. I have seen them doing terrible things to innocent carrots. I have watched in horror how they boiled alive totally harmless eggplants. They spare no one. I even saw one of them slicing a bunch of inoffensive little tomatoes, and they were still just green. Damn them. They were just green. Everyone here is against us. We must hide, Turnip Man. We are in grave danger. Turnip Man? Calm down, I'm not a turnip man. Let me introduce myself. I'm Sid, demon of Darkestville. And you are? Excellent idea, turnip man. We should disguise ourselves so they don't detect us. I would be Mr. Rodriguez, a non-vegetable and totally human gardener. That way, we could infiltrate and save as many vegetables as we can from their farms. What are you talking about? It is true. It's too much of a risk. If we're discovered, surely we will be consumed by those foul beasts. But we must find a way to resist. What are you doing in the cemetery? I'm hiding here, and you should do the same. We are in grave danger, Turnip Man. This twisted land is inhabited by unspeakable savages. They will no doubt murder any vegetable in the most despicable way. I never believed I would say this, but I miss being imprisoned in that bloody demon chest. At least there I was safe from all this madness. Do you have any plans to resist? The horrors I've witnessed cloud my mind. What about you? What do you think if we take the castle? And then what? The 
castle made me a strategic point, but supplies would never hold out against the siege. No, we should be hiding out in the open. Mobility will give us an advantage. We can even try to recruit some wild berries to help establish our resistance. What if we start implementing guerrilla tactics to save the oppressed vegetables? I would like to avenge our fallen friends, but when they realize who is attacking, they will undoubtedly revenge themselves upon our captive brothers. The harvests would be accelerated. I cannot ignore the images racking my mind. Salad camps everywhere, rivers of ranch dressing. It would be a massacre. We must keep it quiet. What if we start sending freed vegetables to the north? I hear eating vegetables there is forbidden. I was unaware of such a haven. A boom, surely. But how do you plan to send them there? Well, I know a friend of a friend that can smuggle them out of there. Excellent. Let me think. Right now, the only one healthy enough to survive such a journey would be little Timmy. He has just turned red. Take care of this little tomato. Don't worry, I will keep him safe. Good luck, little Timmy. Luckily for you, this nightmare will soon be over. So, the people of this town seem to be eating a lot of vegetables. Yes, this truly is terrible. I have seen people performing the most gruesome of rituals. Potatoes being skinned alive, then chopped in evenly sized strips, to later be submerged in boiling oil. Can you believe it? What kind of twisted imagination could conceive such a thing? What kind of forgotten dark gods are these people serving? French fries. Terrifying. Why do you think I'm a turnip man? With that skin color and with those pointy feet, you could only be a turnip man. Of course, a white turnip man. But you needn't maintain such deceptions in my presence. We are brethren of the seed. Now that I think about it, I do look like a turnip. Uh -huh. I'm way more charming than a turnip. Goodbye. I'll go scout for wounded lettuces to save. Good luck, turnip man. And take care. Maybe I can take a bone, but forget about the skulls. They could bite me. So here they are, my favorite demon hunters. I didn't expect to find you down here. Well, I do like the decoration, I think there's too much moisture in this place. Dan! What happened to the demon chest? All the demons we trapped are roaming free! Um, I have no idea what happened. I was guarding the demon chest like you told me when suddenly... Uh, oh yeah, now I remember. Somebody snuck up and sucker punched me. And when I woke up, the chest was open and the town was flooded by demons. You don't remember anything else? You didn't see your attacker? Nope, I'm Dan Teapot. I'm pretty incompetent. But I'm sure that if you could catch those demons in the past, you could hunt them down again, right? I don't think so. Probably the same person who attacked you was the person who drugged Walrus. Mongoose's leg is broken, and on top of that, we don't have the demon chest to capture the demons. We are screwed. We can't even go outside. All those blasted demons want revenge, and if they see us, we are doomed. We're hiding here like rats, waiting for them to leave town. But what if... what if I find a demon chest and bring it here for you? That could help, but Walrus is still sleeping, and we need his strength on the battlefield. But what if I find a way to wake him up? That would be great, but Mongoose's leg is still broken. His speed is essential for our team. But what if... we amputated the leg and just gave him one of those peg legs? Hey, I don't like how that sounds. Oh, a peg leg is super cool. You'll love it. I hear it's the newest trend. Or maybe you know a quicker method to fix a broken leg? Well, in fact, yes. We could concoct a fix bone potion. What is that? It's a potion that fixes all your bones. 
We use it a lot on our hunts. But it tastes horrible. You want a peg leg? It doesn't taste that bad when you get used to it, now that I remember. I have almost all the ingredients to make a fixed bone potion. The only supplies missing are a purple lizard tail, some insect hair, and some salt. Find me those, and we are good to go. Wonderful. You don't have a recipe to wake up walrus, do you? Nope, but I will tell you what doesn't work, hitting him several times with blunt objects. I like your attitude. So, to sum it up, if I bring you the items to make a fixed bone potion, find a way to wake up walrus, and bring the demon chest here. Can you imprison all those demons again? Well, in that case, yes. Even if some of them are in a fortified castle? Yes, even if they are inside a fortified castle. Then we have a deal. Just wait a bit and I'll have you guys hunting demons in no time. I'm not sure if you should be that optimistic. Okay. That was pretty random. Mushroom fertilizer, a mime book, and a party horn. I'll take the fertilizer and the party horn, but I don't like mimes, even in books. Seems that Pedro is a demon now. Pedro? Is that you? Hey, Sid! Yeah, it's me. I always told you I was a marketing devil. I should have seen this coming. No normal human could smell that bad. So you were a demon all this time. Yes! But I like to keep my profile low. Demon or not, I have to make a living out of selling hot dogs and displaying my horns would scare human customers away. Then, why are you showing your true self now? Are you kidding me? The town is full of demons at the moment, and I bet they will really be hungry. This is my opportunity to make new clients. Have you already had any new customers? No, not really. But I had in mind a new marketing campaign that would be more viral than the salmonella this meat has. What are you planning exactly? A refer friend system. This is a new trend on street food. How does the refer a friend system work? It's easy. I give someone a hot dog card, he gives it to his friends, and for each hot dog they buy, I give the refer one free hot dog. That sounds pretty good. I told you I'm a marketing devil. May I have a hot dog card? I knew I could count on you. Here, take this card. It already has your name on it. Have I become that predictable? Well, you are always looking for free stuff to look. I have other matters to attend to. Goodbye, and good luck. <coughs> what? You don't want me to take it? <coughs> I'll just take a few. <coughs> okay, just two, okay? Let's see if this acts as fast as the box claims. Astonishing! I can see the fast results. I totally endorse Fortron 2000. I bet you'll find all the diseases you're looking for here. Oh, this is good. This place seems to have quality good stuff. Just look at this photo. 
you can almost see the diphtheria oozing from that meat. And that sauce looks like it's made out of pure botulism. The that stuff. What are we waiting for? Let's get going, bros. such great customers. They bought a lot of hot dogs, right? Yes. In fact, I've run out of marinara sauce again. And bread. I've sold everything. Cool. Hey, if you don't have any more hot dogs, what happened to my reward? Don't worry, I still have something for you. Ta-da! Uh, sausage? It's the only thing I've got left right now. A lot of old, I mean a lot of fine sausages. What about money? Look, I'll give you all the sausages you want, okay? Then give me more than just one. Hey, don't be a glutton one at a time. I'll give you another one when you finish eating that one. Okay, it could be worse. Now I have unlimited sausages. I have other matters to attend to. Goodbye and good luck. Even though I appreciate the fact that she tried to look well-groomed, it's the ugliest fly I've ever seen. Hello, young lady. What is a girl like you doing in this place at this time of the night? I totally understand that, but I'm not a stranger. Let me introduce myself. I'm Sid, the demon of Darkestville. I'm not trying to impress you. That's something I always say when I'm introducing myself. And you are? So, Betsy, I hope that now we've introduced ourselves and I'm not a stranger anymore, we could talk. What are you doing here at this time of the night all alone? I think your boyfriend Seth is taking too much time. Are you sure he told you to wait here? Okay, I was just asking. You know, you have a really bad mouth for a girl. What kind of demon are you? <laughs> of course. It is pretty obvious now that you say it. Can you help me enter my castle? No, it's not that. Hey, that escalated quickly. I was not implying that your mother was... What does that have to do with a bad day at work? Okay, I get it. Your head hurt, but... How does that connect with an elephant on a pogo stick? Okay, okay, I'm sorry. It wasn't my intention, okay? Just forget it. I guess no matter what species they are, I will never understand women. Why do you have a flan? Oh, that's a good trick to win the heart of a man. May I have it? Okay, okay, I get the point. I'm not your kind of guy. Do you know a good way to wake someone who's in a deep sleep? Yes, but my problem is I don't have dynamite. I'll have to think of something different. Do you know a quick method to restore a broken leg? Oh, but I think my friend can't grow new legs. Human health is so complicated. I never remember what they can or can't do. But let's just discard that option. Goodbye. Let's see what happens. Nothing seems to be happening. 
This is getting weird. This is getting really weird. Hello. Why are you so happy to see me? This souffle is for me? Oh, thanks. I'm sure one day you'll be a great housewife. I can't believe you even handpicked the worms yourself. You really are into details, aren't you? Yes, you will make that man very happy. Goodbye. I took some of her hairs as a memento. Hello? Domingo! There you are! What are you doing there? Well, it's true, you are a fish. But what about all the killer piranhas that river has? Well done. That'll teach them not to mess with you. Things have become a little complicated around here, so I want you to stay in the river until I return, okay? Okay. Good boy. This plant looks... Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? Wow. Wow. Hey, I find that commentary very offensive. Not just because I'm half wolf. I will act like a canine. Uh, sorry, I didn't... A man should be judged by the content of his character, not for his race, color, religion, or lycanthropic condition. L look I did not... We are on a time in history when we should leave our prejudices behind. Look at each other as equals, because no matter if you were born on a different country or you are thirsty for human blood, we are all the same from the inside. And when... Hey, I already said I'm sorry, okay? It seems that we started on the wrong foot. I'm Sid, Demon of Darkestville. And you are? Nice to meet you, Sid. My name is Jack Gutspiller, president of the LRA, Lycanthropes Rights Association. What does the LRA do? We fight for the lycanthrope rights on many fronts. For example, we want equal treatment. We want a positive representation of the lycanthropes on the media. And we want equal payment for equal work among others. Do you know that lycanthropes are paid 70 cents for each dollar a vampire earn? I had no idea about that. Now you know it. But the question is, what are you going to do now that you know the facts? Want to join the LRA? No thanks. Are you against lycanthropes rights? Of course I am. I'm an instrument of evil. But don't worry, it's not an act of discrimination. I'm against everyone's rights equally. No, oh, I understand. We are okay then. Sorry, but I'd rather have hepatitis than to say that line. What? Nothing. I was just talking to myself. So you're a werewolf, right? We prefer the term lycanthropes. We feel that werewolf has a detrimental connotation and we are trying to change the way people perceive us, even on a linguistic level. And yes, to answer your question, I'm a respectable member of society that happens to be a lycanthrope, and I'm not ashamed of my condition as such. So, you are a werewolf, right? <sighs> yes, I'm a werewolf. All right, cool. What are you doing outside the tavern? What, a lycanthrope can't just be outside a tavern enjoying the night breeze? No, it's not that. I was just being curious about... About what? Are you implying that because I'm a lycanthrope, I will be outside a tavern waiting for drunk people to go out so I can eat them like a mindless beast? What? No, I wasn't... Look, 
What I'm doing outside the tavern is my own business. You are not entitled to an explanation of my behavior, and it has nothing to do with the delicious people that are inside the tavern and will be vulnerable on their way out. Talking with you is more complicated than I would like. Do you realize that there is no full moon? I'm aware of that situation. I hope you are not implying that because there is no full moon that I should not be here. It is true that in the past we were subjugated by a system that only allowed us to express ourselves on a full moon basis schedule. But luckily the full moon segregation act was abolished a long time ago. I have to leave. Goodbye. Look what I got here. Do you think that because, oh my god, he has a bone. He has a bone, he has a bone. Please throw it, please throw it, throw it. Throw it for God's sake, just throw it. Go get it. Here it is, here it is, here, here it, here it is. If you tell someone you saw me doing this, I will sue you. Okay, if somebody asks me, this never happened. Yes, this never happened. To the inventory you go. The expression on his face reminds me of my accountant. That couldn't be good. I like how he dresses. He looks a bit skinny though. I'm not in the mood for a hot dog. So, you're going to bet the flesh of an innocent animal, right? Oh! I sensed the flesh of a thousand different animals on that item you have. Yes, yes, of course. It's a very unique and expensive item. Crafted especially for demonic rituals, and it can even be used for weekend barbecues. All right, then. I bet all my money against your special ritualistic meat. Let's play. Take this dice. Remember, the lowest number wins. Ha. Double one. Your turn. Hey, that's very impressive. Double zero. You win. Victory couldn't be sweeter. No, this could not be. I'm sorry, Lord of Darkness. I was, I was defeated. Forgive me. No. What was that? Oh, just forget it. He's overreacting. He does this every time he loses something. Tomorrow he'll be back to gambling again. I see. He is a really bad loser. I apologize on his behalf. And please. Don't forget to take this. It's yours. Awesome. Oh, you haven't gone and I already miss you. We shared so little time together, but I really got attached to you, my shiny little friend. Goodbye. Giovanni, take this. This is the money I owed you. Yup, definitely. This is a really unusual night. Okay, Sid, your account is back to zero. If you want to place an order, please let me know. May I order my money back? No. It's a hideous pig. Hello. Hey, look. If you've come here on behalf of Vigo to see if I've already dispatched this chest as he ordered me, tell him. For it. I'm part of the Demonic Trade Union. I know my rights. And according to the Demonic Trade Act, Article 23, I can take all the time I want to perform a task. For it. And even if in the Part B he is allowed to send a third party to tell me please hurry up, in Part C, it's stated clearly that I'm allowed to reply, hey, this thing is taking more time than I expected. 
So hey, this thing is taking more time than I expected. Ori. Who are you? Me? I'm Mark Piglinpin, but everybody calls me Mr. Piglinpin, proud member of the Demonic Trade Union. I am a licensed crew member specialized in high mask logistics operations. Ori. What? I move heavy things. Oh. You're a new recruit, right? Ori. I don't remember seeing your face. Yes, I'm the new guy. I'm an operator specialized in the delivery of messages, news, notification announcements, and other pieces of valuable information relevant to our organization. What? I'm the errand boy. Oh. Did Vigo tell you to dispatch that chest? According to the directives I received, it should be dropped by the river to sink. Or... Oh. Mm, he told me not to drop it there yet, but he may come up with a better idea soon. That would infer a delay on a planned activity. Or... According to the Demonic Trade Act, Article 83, I could demand the delay to cease and start working on said planned activity immediately. A thing that I will not do. If the management needs to momentarily stop this operation, I understand it and I support it. You are so generous. Oh, well, the boss just told me that he wants you to drop it in the open crypt in the graveyard. But don't enter the crypt. Just drop it by the entrance ladder. Some of the steps on the ladder are broken and we don't want you to get injured. May the gods protect us from what the Demonic Trade Act demands we do if you get injured. What? That's not only a change of plans, but a further distance to carry that thing. Or, according to the Demonic Trade Act, Article 84, in the case of an unexpected change of plans of a previous planned activity, the union member can strike until their demands are met. So, I'm on strike until my demands are met. Or, what? Sorry, you heard me. I'm on strike. I don't move that chest until my demands are met. What are your demands exactly? I demand a camel lid sandwich, a decaffeinated digestive, and a good sweet dessert. What kind of demands are those? I have no idea. I remember them from a union brochure they sent us monthly, in case we need to strike and we run out of ideas for demands. It's very useful. What are your demands again? I really need you to cease this strike and carry this chest to the crypt. I demand a camel lid sandwich, a decaffeinated digestive, and a good sweet dessert. What does the Demonic Trade Union do? The Demon Trade Union is an inclusive coalition of minions, imps, and lesser evils that are employed by a main villain or villainous corporation. We seek to improve the conditions of every hard-working member of the society. That sounds pretty great. Yes. In fact, thanks to the demonic trade union that lobbied along the right-wing fairy coalition, we receive a subsidy on the price we pay for magic dust. Of course, now the gnomes have to pay twice the price they used to pay, but screw them. They should have supported us when we tried to pass the Ban All Holly Damage Weapons Act. Can I join the Demonic Trade Union? Of course you can. We have some minor requirements, though. You have to go to the main office to do the usual paperwork, they check your background, and of course you have to be a legal citizen of the Fifth Health. Your blood type should be A++. You have to donate 75% of your salary to the Demonic Trade Union for a minimum of three eternities. You have to sacrifice your firstborn to Lord Zordak, the destroyer of galaxies. And lastly, you should not be in any way, shape, or form associated with those goddamn Christmas elves. Those miserable Santa zealots were stealing our jobs lately, so we are currently at war with them. <clears throat> ah, jeez, I'm not sure what my blood type is. I know that Lord Zordak thing might sound a bit harsh at first, but thanks to him, we got an awesome dental plan. Believe me, I regret nothing. <clears throat> you should think about it. Vigo sent me some new orders for you. You should dismantle the gates of Darkestville Castle. Sorry, according to the Demonic Trade Act Article 4, I'm only assigned to one specific activity, 
and that activity is moving stuff around. You should contact the dismantling department to do that. Sadly, the guys from the dismantling department were dismantled. They exploded after they tried to dismantle a bomb. I have other matters to attend to. See ya. It's the mayor of Darkestville. As you can see, he clearly doesn't look at all like he's depicted on the paintings. And I'm not even sure if he really hunts at all. Now I've got a purple lizard tail. Um, it was like this when I arrived. Hey, it's a tongue sandwich. Mr. Mayor, you should call the military right now. Demons have overtaken the city. What? It's demons? Oh, I see. Again with those silly pranks, Sid. How many times have we talked about this? We should stop doing these kinds of practical j jokes. No, this is not a practical joke. It's the truth. Just peek through the door. There are demons everywhere. Nice try. Sorry, Sid. Your tricks are getting old. I'm sure that if I pop up my head over there, I'd receive a pie in my face or something like that. I won't fall for it. I will not exploit my curiosity. I can demonstrate to you that this town is being invaded by demons. You can try, but I will not peek through that d door. I know you will throw a pie at my face or something like that. But the demons are everywhere. Look! Hey, demons! Are you taking over the town? Yes! Of course! No, we are not. <laughs> hey! One of them says that they're not. Who said that? It wasn't me! Sorry, I was confused. You see? They're invading the town. That only proves that you hired a group of people to yell things in order to trick me. And some of them even forgot the script. Oh, come on, what's wrong with you? Sorry, but I'm not gonna fall for your tricks. I have learned from my mistakes. I've grown, and I'm taking one of these once a day. What is that? Anti gullibility pills. You'd have to be very gullible to buy that kind of stuff. I, I, I know, but I didn't realize it after they started taking effect. I have matters to attend to. G goodbye, Sid. May I take some of these? I've been feeling gullible lately. You don't have any idea why you want them, do, do you? Nope, but I want them. Well, if that makes you happy, take it. I have more flasks like that at home. Wait, how many of these did you buy? They definitely sold me more than I needed, but of course you don't realize it until you start to take them. Jeez, that's so gullible. He is wearing a sailor costume. Broom! Broom! Hello! Broom! Broom! That thing looks pretty cool. Did you do it yourself? Oh, this! Yes! Yes! It's pretty fun to play with. It seems so. My name is Sid, the Demon of Darkestville. And you are? Me? I'm Bob. Bob Black Eye. So you are a fan of motorcycles, too? Yes, I always... Motorcycles? Why do you ask me that? Well, you told me that you liked my origami motorcycle. That thing over there? That isn't a motorcycle. It's a paper boat. Maybe you are confused because the front wheel is bigger. But that's because it's a custom chopper. What are you talking about? 
That thing has no wheels at all. No, don't try to confuse me. What makes you think that the paper boat you're holding in your hand is an origami motorcycle? What makes you think it isn't? Can you show me how you made it? Of course! I took a piece of paper. Then I moved this here. I folded in this corner. This folded in half. Give me a second. This goes here. And... Impressive. Then we fold the wheels a bit to make them look more round, and ta-da! I think there is a problem in that last step. I know. The wheels don't look as good as I would like. May I have it? Yes, sure, take it. Just forget it. Goodbye. Goodbye, and good luck finding that ring to lift the curse. I'm not... Oh, just forget it. Giovanni, the tavern keeper. We don't mess with this guy. Not only because he's the sole owner of the tavern, which makes him an invaluable provider of different substances, but also because if he gets mad at me, he can break all of my bones. Believe me, it already happened. Twice. Hello. Hi. I would like to make an order. What can I do you for? I'd like to order something to eat. Sure. Like what? Do you have a robot Tyrannosaurus Rex that can fly and shoot laser beams? What? You, you don't have that? What makes you think I could have such a thing in a tavern? Uh, I don't know. I just saw the question on the dialogue menu and I was wondering that maybe the option to ask you about that was there for a reason. What are you talking about? You know, different options that appear when I'm about to talk to you. No, I have no idea what you're talking about. Of course I know what you're talking about, but we're not supposed to talk about the game interface. You're ruining the player's immersion. Oh, I see. Sorry. I'll try to keep those kinds of conversations to the minimum in the future. I would like to make an order. What can I do you for? I'd like to order something to eat. Sure. Like what? I would like to order the vegetarian option. Sure. Here you go. The vegetarian option. Are you sure this is okay? This is just a bowl of salt. Do you see any meat in there? No. Then that is the vegetarian option. I would like to make an order. What can I do you for? I would like to order something to drink. Sure thing, bud. But I'm running out of drinks here. The only thing I have left is beer, diet soda, and fernet. I would like to order some fernet. Here it goes. Do you have something to wake up a friend that accidentally took sleeping pills? I can give you some coffee. I don't think simple coffee is going to work. He's very big and I gave... I mean, he took really strong sleeping pills. Oh, then I know something that could work. I heard the legend of a coffee so strong that it could actually kill a sleeping elephant. But I don't want to kill him. I just want to wake him up. The legend says that it was used on the Hebrew slaves of the ancient Aztec Empire to completely build the whole International Space Station in just one week. I've noticed that this legend you're speaking of has inconsistencies on so many levels. Give me a break, kid. Don't look at the small details. The main point here is, this coffee could wake up your friend. We're not talking about any ordinary coffee, understand? We're talking about El Café de la Muerte. Hey, that sounds pretty great. Please, I would like to order that. Unfortunately, it's really complicated to make, and I don't have all the ingredients. What ingredients are missing? I'll find them for you. 
I have almost all the items to make it. From the death parrot to the musical mice, only four ingredients are missing. I need a piece of fresh fruit, some fish scales, expired medicine, and a hat that's never been worn before. That sounds really arbitrary and random, but don't worry. I will find those items for you. I better go and get some fresh air outside. See you soon. I don't think so. Take this. A good fresh fruit. Take this. Let me check. Yes, it has expired. We are one step closer to El Café de la Muerte. Take this. Great. This paper hat seems like it's never been used. Take this. Great. One step closer to make El Café de la Muerte. Finally. Just give me one second. Here it is. Behold. El Café de la Muerte. Awesome. You believe it's magic will wake up my friend? His magic? The 30 blisters of dissolved caffeine pills that the recipe calls for. It will wake up your friend one way or another. Great. You are demanding a camelid sandwich, right? Yes. Oh, a llama sandwich. I love llamas. Oh, fern it. The decaffeinated digestive I was demanding. This is much better than I was expecting. Are you going to keep the glass of fern it in your pocket? Yeah, I'm saving it for later. But how are you keeping a full glass in a pocket? The same way you bring it here. Touché. Here is your sweet dessert. The kind I like most. How did you know? If only I knew Vigo was in such a hurry to move this thing. I could have come up with more creative demands, you know? <laughs> ah, but who cares? After leaving this chest at my destination, my three years vacation starts. May the gods bless the demonic trade union. A well-deserved rest. Just don't forget to stay out of the crypt. Just drop the chest by the ladder. Don't worry, I heard you the first time. Now it's time to work. Heh, <laughs> I never get used to saying that kind of stuff. This insect hair is huge! Where did you find it? It's a long story. Will it work? I guess. Awesome! Purple lizards are really hard to find. Yeah. By the way, what could happen if instead of a purple lizard tail we use a green one? Well, there is a chance of the patient exploding upon consumption. Oh, well, it's just a chance. Yes, around 15%. Why do you ask? Mm, no reason. Just curious. This will come in handy to make the big bone potion. Don't put too much salt in it. Last time it was horrible. It's medicine, not juice. It's supposed to taste bad. I have all the ingredients to make the potion. Just give me a minute while I prepare it. Here it is. Now drink it. Yep, still horrible. But, boom! I feel like new now. <laughs> Look at these legs. Are you sure you don't feel a bit explosive? No. I feel awesome! Great! Thanks, Dan. Without your help, we would never be able to fix Mongoose's leg so quickly. Take this. I hope it'll...
to wake you up. Oh, what? What am I doing here? Are you awake? Yes. Yes. I can see everything now. Everything is so bright. I feel my mind expanding. Walrus, at least you're up. I was starting to worry about you. You don't have to worry about anything. Do you realize that we're just a way for the cosmos to know itself? You are sounding kind of weird. I've never felt so good before. Life is beautiful. Look at this guy's face. Always smiling. We should all be more like him. He definitely is sounding weird. Well, it seems that we've got everything we need to go raid those demons. Walrus, are you sure you can fight like this? Don't worry. The effect of that weird brewage is slowly fading. I feel much more normal now. I still see a flying cursor, though. Then we are good to go. Let's go, brothers. We have demons to catch. To the hunt! Yay! Now to get my castle back. There is one. Holy asparagus. The Romero brothers. Watch out! He is armed with a cucumber! One less. Let's hurry. We should take them by surprise. This is your end, foul werewolf! The term is lycanthrope. Dom, we can't corner him. He has a restraining order against us. Keep fighting, you fool. That is not valid in this state. Another one goes to the chest. Go, go, go! I'm sure Big Boss is inside this castle. Everyone ready for this? Ready for battle. Oh, I hate boss fights. They're so tense. To the hunt! trap. <laughs> what did you do to them? Oh, they're under a spell now. I'll be taking them with me back to the underworld. I think it's time for them to experience some underworld hospitality. <laughs> what? This is unacceptable. You can't do this. If you're leaving first, you have to clean this mess and put the lamp back where it went. Sorry, I'm already leaving. You can keep your dirty castle. I don't know why you wanted it back so badly. It's a trash heap. And there's even a giant rat trapped inside the kitchen. Oh, lastly, the toilet flusher was already broken when I arrived. Anyway, goodbye. But... To the underworld I go. <laughs> Well, this was a weird day, but I have my castle back. No more demons, no more demon hunters. The only thing that's left is to clean up this mess. Wait a minute, something isn't right. I feel like, kind of bad? About the Romero brothers' fate? No, it's not that. It's that guy, Vigo. I saved him from the prison chest, and how does he repay me? He tried to steal my castle! He threw me in my own dungeon, he burned my town, which is something I was planning to do for my birthday, by the way. Then he makes a mess in my room, and now he's stolen my demon hunters! They were looking for me! I am! 
Who the hell does he think he is stealing my thunder? No one steals from me. Thunder or otherwise, I will steal the Romero brothers back from Vigo. The only problem is finding a way to travel to the underworld. I have a solution to that problem. <laughs> Get it? I am too anxious for cliffhangers. Dan, tell me right now, how are we gonna travel to the Underworld? Follow me! You have to see this! <laughs>